said that these, uh, the glucose is going to be found in both. It's going to be plants only. All right, plants only. All right, so let's talk a little bit about disaccharides. All right, so disaccharides, they're going to consist of two monosaccharides combined by a condensation reaction. Remember, condensation reaction is going to link two things together. The bond is called a glycosidic link. Glycosidic link. To the right of the picture, I don't know where I can put this thing. Uh, of sucrose uh, is an example of a disaccharide. All right, so disaccharide. So let's figure out how many carbons we have here. How many carbons? I don't know where I can put this. Carbons. How many carbons are there? So let's see if we can count. Make sure you highlight, underline this glycosidic link. I know you're filling it in. Condensation reaction. Uh, all right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, twelve. How many monosaccharides are in a disaccharide? Two. Two, two subunits, right? All right. I know Christina was asking me that yesterday. Label the glycosidic link. What is that going to be? What is that going to be? What do you think? Yes. Where? Here? Ah, yes, the glycosidic link. Right? The molecular formula for sucrose is C12H11O11. Is that an exact one to two to one ratio? No. Why? Why? Why is it not one to two to one? Not mathematically, why is it not? Why is it not? I talked about it last class. I said it only occurs in monosaccharides. You have a one to two to one. Why is it not a one to two to one? Oh, it's not a monos. Um, lost the water. Lost a H2O during condensation reaction. Okay, so if I lost an H2O, if I didn't lose it, what should the formula be? C12, what? 24 O. Okay, so I lost, think about it, two hydrogens. Makes this 22. How many oxygens? See how that works? Okay, see how that works? Pretty, yes? So I just took two off my hydrogens, took one off my oxygen. All right. All right, next. Why is it missing? So you can kind of go over that again. When I take that off, anytime I take off a water molecule, I'm going to take two H's and one O off. Two H's, one O off. Two H's and an O off. All right. All right. So fill in the pictures below of the three di disaccharides in the chart. Uh, fill in the functions below except for maltose. Okay. So this is sucrose, lactose, and maltose. All right. So. Yes. Don't have to know it now with the new curriculum. All right, so sucrose, lactose, all right, animals and plants. Okay, these are transported from the leaves 
of plants to tissue, uh, storage tissue that provide energy. Let me just let me see if I can do that right there. All right, lactose is sugar uh, found in milk that provides energy for young mammals. All right, any questions on that? All right, polysaccharides contain from 40 to over 1,000 monomers. The building blocks for all polysaccharides all right, are going to be glucose. The ones below are glucose, 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 glucose. All of these, starch, cellulose, and glycogens. These are the three that you need to know. The three that you need to know. Oh, sorry, I don't know why it was. Uh, three, three polysaccharides you need to know. The three polysaccharides, starch, cellulose, and glycogen. Let's go over those right now. All right, starch, all right, is found in plants made of alpha glucose units forms a helical shape, two forms, amylopectin and amylose. Okay, storage energy in plants found in leucoplasts of roots. Did you know potatoes are roots? Potato is a root, where do you get potatoes? Pull them from the ground. And nobody said St. Patrick yesterday at mass. I was very upset. Who's your favorite saint? St. Patrick, of course. Why would you not say St. Patrick? What does St. Patrick do? He delivered Catholicism to Christianity Ireland. Well, St. Patrick drove all the snakes out of Ireland. Come on, man. Snakes. All right. Leucoplasts in, in plant roots store energy in the form of starch. Remember those leucoplasts that we saw in the lab. Next, we have the wonderful cellulose. All right, cellulose is plants made of beta glucose units. Beta, so alpha is for what? Starch, beta is for cellulose. Glucose units, the chains of glucose are interlinked. Hydrogen bonds between the chains give them strength. Well, I've talked about hydrogen bonds before. All right. Makes up cell walls of plant cells, structural and humans cannot digest. It's great for cleaning out your intestinal tract. The more plants and roughage you eat, the better it is to clean up your intestinal tract. Okay? Here it is. So, cell walls of plants are made of cellulose. So we have a little starch granule, granule there, and then we have our cell walls. All right, cell walls are gonna be made of the cellulose. All right, the last one is glycogen. All right, it's found in animals. Made of alpha glucose. All right, have a wonderful day. This is your homework, it is right here. It's a page and a half. Age and a half.